boys and girls, welcome to today's devotional. And let's start. Now, I had an instruction that I had was reading, and it told me to uh, take the sprinkles and throw them out. And then, let me just double check something. Just wait, let me just double check with you. I need to put them back into the holder one by one. Now, this is not going to be fun. You know what? I'll not be discouraged. Let me try. Done. Done. No more sprinkles. No more sprinkles. I don't want to see sprinkles again. So, boys and girls, what did you see happen there? Is when I had to put them back one by one, I started to get impatient. Because why? It was taking time. You had to be precise. And then when you started to get in a hurry, you bumped it over, and then the sprinkles fall out again. And then you had to start over again. And then you have to do it again. And what happens is, when we want to do the right things right, we don't want to use patience. But we have to be like Christ. When He's doing something, when He's busy with the sprinkles, and putting it in one by one, He takes patience. He uses patience because why? Every time he puts it in, he does it with patience, precisely into the holder. And he doesn't lose his temper no matter what. So, let us read our scripture today and find out what else we can find out about these sprinkles that we are bumping around today. So, boys and girls, let's quickly finish this off with scripture. Now, take your Bible, that you have it in front of you while we read it, that you can follow us in the Word. So, I am in the New Testament, back of the Word, in 2 Peter 3, verse 7 to 9. Now, it says in my Bible, the New Living Translation, and by the same word, the present heavens and earth has been stored up for fire, they are being kept for the day of judgment, when ungodly people will be destroyed. But you must not forget this one thing, dear friends. A day is like a thousand years to the Lord, and a thousand years is like a day. But the Lord isn't being slow about His promise. As people think, no, He is being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to be destroyed, but he wants everyone one to repent. Now, this is a very interesting part of Scripture, that the Lord is patient with every one of us. Because he doesn't want any one of us to fall away, to be cast into the lake of fire. He doesn't want. He wants us to be patient. He wants us to repent. And it's very interesting. While we're busy with the verses, there was... Something that Aunt Bianca showed me, and it was when people go exercise. When you go jogging and you're running, and the first day you run and it's nice, the second day and the third day, and by the fourth day, that pants you wanted to get into four or five days ago, you don't fit into it. What happens? You just give up. You lose patience with it. You lose, forget about it and just stop exercising. 
or you're watching a story with mom and dad and you're enjoying the movie on Netflix and you're watching and all of a sudden the movie starts buffering and it's going and it's going and like oh my goodness the internet is so slow you lose patience with it and then when we get to church and we tell someone about Jesus we tell them how good he is and we tell them what he what he can do for them we expect them when they walk out the door to walk on water we don't give them the patience we should remember that God is patient with us and what I'm reminded of is mom and dad always tell you when they're walking across the road you need to stay next to them you need to walk with them you can't run in front of them because if you run in front of them you don't know what's going to happen but when you walk with mom and dad, you are safe. You don't go ahead. You walk at their pace with patience. So let's walk with God in the same way. Let's walk with his patience at his pace. At home, at school, with mom and dad, with everyone around us. Let's grow the fruit of patience in our lives. Go to your devotional today and let's finish today's activity. And may you have all a blessed day. Bye.